7 Eyewitness News there at Casanova Creek as an ice jam that had built up broke just after 10 p.m. Our Jeff Rusak tweeting this video of the flow. We check in live with him now on the Steven C Stevenson Street Bridge in South Buffalo tonight. Good evening, Jeff. Ashley, just as that ice jam broke up, it formed again. Take a look at this. This just forming in the past couple of minutes. It was just flowing underneath this bridge and then it got a little too high. The bridge started shaking a little bit and then the ice just stopped right here. It's not supposed to be uh, too, too bad. This is actually some of the smaller stuff. There's a lot bigger stuff earlier, but you know, it was 60 day. It was really warm and, and that's kind of the situation we have right now when it warms up and all that rain fell. And then this is what people have to worry about. It all started with this stubborn sheet of ice upstream of the Casanova Street Bridge. It was stubborn until this, most of it making it under the Stevenson Bridge, but the larger pieces banged into the underbelly of the bridge and formed a new ice jam. While police kept a close eye on the progress of the ice, longtime neighbors who were eager to see the ice flow were told to get off the bridge for their own safety. They, he told me to get off of this before he told me to get down. I got some real good video from over the fence uh -huh. of the ice, the big ice hitting the bridge. I'm going to savor that for the rest of my life. While an ice jam is quite the sight to see in person, it happens almost yearly on Casanova Creek, and it's some welcome news for anyone who lives upstream. You know, everybody's drains in the neighborhood are running better right now because this lack go. Now the uh, the flow has stopped here, like I was just saying. This is some of the smaller stuff, but the city is going to continue to monitor the situation as these warm temperatures continue here in Western New York. Reporting live along the Casanova Creek, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. What a sight. Thank you, Jeff. The 7 First Solar Weather Team will be watching all of this overnight. We'll be on.